Good morning, Steve Freed with the morning grain comments have kind of a mixed trade. Certainly we saw a steep sell off yesterday with funds increasing selling and especially beans and, and corn. And uh, overnight, beans and corn are down a little bit while wheat's up led by KC. Bean market, uh, I think, finally exhaled because of the concern about higher supplies and, and um, lower export demand uh, for the bean market. We kind of sliced through some key support levels and now holding at this 1350 level, which should be support for now. Uh, corn market also, Dece corn uh, back uh, near $5 and, and thinking that uh, at least that price might be uh, support uh, for now. Wheat market is higher led by KC after the first day of the Kansas wheat tour found a yield the lowest uh, since the tour started in 2003, around 28 bushels per acre. Uh, the normal is somewhere around 45. And so uh, that just underscores uh, the lower uh, USDA numbers in, in May and uh, given some kind of uh, positive response in KC July futures over $9. Again, the fight with uh, KC Futures is that uh, is demand at $9 falling faster uh, than the supply? And have, do we have, in maybe an overbought technical situation, um, enough premium in the, in the market to uh, underscore what the tour is finding? Um, Minneapolis wheat, high protein market, also finding some support. Uh, because of the lateness in, in uh, plantings of many, uh, Minnesota, although farmers in North Dakota said they will get the hardwood spring crop planted on a timely basis. Um, so um, I think markets remain choppy. Um, there was a conference in uh, Geneva, Switzerland, which a weather, weather guy talked about um, the fact that uh, they look for a little bit drier weather um, this summer in the Western U.S. Corn Belt. The key is temperatures and just how much uh, dryness there is and when. Um, the, certainly the rains uh, now um, have been replenishing subsoil reserves. Um, the only other hot spot that we see globally is some dryness in parts of uh, Eastern Russia. Uh, Western Russia, Eastern Ukraine is okay. And then we've got uh, some dryness in central Brazil. Rains are returning to Argentina. Outlook is dry for Canada and Australia. So again, a choppy trade uh, going to the end of the month of May, uh, June. We'll start trading uh, global Northern Hemisphere weather, especially in the United States.